Hello, I am Ashling Loftus. I'm an actress and I took part in the NT Connections um, four times when I was a teenager. And last year I performed the part of Queenie in Small Island at the National. When I was growing up, I went to a drama group in Nottingham called the, um, the Junior Television Workshop. And I went there um, from when I was nine until I was 19. And um, every year our group signed up to do NT Connections. And so we would read the different plays um, and decide, like, you know, kind of democratically decide which one we wanted to do. Obviously, I had to work for how many boys or girls we had or, you know. And, um, um, yeah, I did it. Uh, I did, I'm pretty sure I did it four times. And it was the first time that I ever... 2004 we did um the musicians uh, by Patrick Marber and I didn't know that Patrick Marber was this big deal anyway but um we went to it was the first time I ever went to the national um uh when we uh we didn't get picked to be the ones that performed at the national but we performed at our regional theatre the playhouse which was amazing and um yeah we didn't perform at the national but we saw the version that did get picked and um and they were great weren't as good as us but <laughs> no, they were really great but it was amazing that the first time to have ever been in the national was as like a participant rather than um I don't know like I don't think I would have gone there before then anyway because obviously it's you know it's just a bit uh not many teenagers are able to just tootle down to the national, are they? <laughs> if they live elsewhere. So um, yeah, we it, it was the first time ever that I was in there was as a kind of participant. And I think that's why it made me feel like, oh, maybe one day I'll be here participating again, you know, which which we did one year, we got through with our play to, um, it was a play called He's Talking and I can't remember who it was written by. I think it was 2019, no, it was 2009 maybe or maybe 2008 but anyway um and we performed in uh it, it was a theatre called the Cottesloe um which doesn't exist anymore but it was this kind of box shape um and that was uh probably one of the highlights of my life um it was it was absolutely incredible and it really made me sure that I wanted to be an actor the great thing about playing Queenie um, was that there was lots and lots of um, information and uh, there was lots of resources um, to, to help me like figure out how to play that character. Um, the book for a start. Um, so I would I went through the book and highlighted, you know, do that thing of I always thought you're not allowed to write in books while well, I did it. So like I'd highlight all the bits that she was in. And um, and then like just looking at the scripts that I remember we used to do with with NT Connections, the way that we would take the script, we'd write down anything that you say about your character or like in this, you know, if it's in the stage directions, anything you say, anything someone else says, and then you're allowed to like kind of do the inference bit. So these facts, these facts, and then what do we imagine could be true about this character? So that was how we, that's how I'm um, doing anti connections. That's how we would take apart the script. And I've kind of kept on doing that, that you go, okay, well, if this person said this and she says this about herself, that means that I can imagine that she um, used to have a, a pet dog or I don't know, you know, things like that that just flesh out the character and make them a real person as opposed to, you know, just lines on a page. The thing of adapting your performance from, say if it's from a classroom through to a massive theatre, that's, I think that that's one of the best things that you get out of Connections because it's, a, that's re it's really hard and it's something that actors struggle with going from the rehearsal room into a big space. It just, it's just different, isn't it? Um, but I think if you get to the truth of your character and if everything that you say you mean, like you really mean it, you're not pretending or you're not demonstrating their emotions, you're really feeling their emotions and you're really meaning what you're saying, 
that will travel and that travels in a space so yeah you need to be able to project your voice more and um I know that was something that actually through connections we did we did do some voice work when we were in the in the national um and that was really helpful because we never I'd never done anything like that before um but I think that the clarity of meaning and clarity of uh, your emotions is um very helpful in a big space because there's no point in you having these tiny little gorgeous feelings if the person that's 50 meters away doesn't get to see them or not that doesn't mean doing big faces or whatever else but like really really mean be really present in your character and really mean what you're doing I think that helps travel in like have your performance travel and not feel like a bit embarrassed that you're being big or whatever like it's not that it's just really meaning what you're doing I've seen because because I want wanted to and want to work in theatre I am um, pretty much whenever I can if I'm doing a play I try to watch plays while I'm you know like on the if there's a matinee where I'm not performing but then when I'm not working I see a lot of well uh, before this year I saw a lot of plays and I will do when this is all over um and I because you can get like 10 pound tickets and stuff so you know you can go up and sit at the top but it's the actor's jobs to make sure that you still get a good experience of the play and you do so yeah I've seen lots of things and one of the things that I saw that I found really affecting was um uh who's afraid of Virginia Woolf um Imelda Staunton in that she was just amazing she did this thing and it was so weird and I thought gosh it's so like it wasn't kind of it, it, it she was really really angry and you know when you think about when someone's really angry you imagine them like yelling and smashing things up and you know being really kind of uh frightening and loud and big and she did this scream it was this silent scream no noise at all she just went like I thought it's embarrassing to do it now but she was kind of like and she did it and it, the audience obviously we were all completely silent but it was the most piercing thing and I just thought gosh you can do you can you can make so many choices like you know like when you get a script like I think that's such a cool thing about connections that no two performances of those characters are going to be the same no two performances of those plays are going to be the same like yeah you've all got the same source material but because you're different people reading those plays performing those plays they're going to be completely different um and yeah I thought that was really I thought she, God, I just thought she's so I mean I suppose you have to be a really confident actor to dare to do things like that that obviously this year is a really weird year um but it could actually make the work that you do even better because you're because of the because you're not taking it for granted for one like we you know we're all trying to kind of rinse rinse the best out of situations and experiences and it means that you can really you can be really focused about what you do and um really kind of thoughtful in what you do and theatre will survive past this you know like it's it's been around for centuries um no more than that I don't know thousands or oh, whatever <laughs> um it will survive like past this so you haven't got any bills to pay hopefully just knuckle down and learn as much as you can in this period of time and then you'll come out all, all guns blazing after it Best of luck to all of the NT Connections actors and people behind the scenes. And um, who knows what you'll be doing in 10 years, but you'll, I think you'll look back on this as a really exciting and fun thing that you're part of.